Hi, welcome to lesson number six. I'm Lee Turner, Turner Family Band, and Turner Family Band Shares. And I was gonna show you some things, a little different of a lesson maybe than the ones I've done before. I was gonna show you about how I used the key of C to help me to be able to write some songs. So let me show you on the keyboard how the key of C makes things a little easier than any other key on the keyboard. the key of C is right in the middle and last lesson I showed you how to do some warm-up exercises just to get your fingers moving three over there and I've shown you that the key of C that chord I've shown you the a minor chord I've shown you an F chord I've shown you a G chord I've even shown you a D chord I think we even briefly touched on a B flat chord. But tonight what I'm going to talk about is how C, the benefit of it not having to use any black notes in a lot of ways, can give you access to a whole lot of minor chords that can make a song um, feel really moving. If you push your um, sustain pedal and you're just playing the notes All I'm doing is That's F There's G Really all I'm doing is playing around with these white notes Make yourself get comfortable with the beauty of the sound of the piano. So when I was 15, 16 years old, somewhere around that, 14, I had about a keyboard that was maybe about the size of this in, the, in my room. And I would sit on the floor and I would try to just put some chords together that sounded good. And I'm gonna give you some of those. Here's C course we learned that I'm hitting the bass note with C you can do it a whole octave if you want to you can do a whole chord if you want to but what I pretty much do when I'm playing a slower song is not really hit a whole lot of bass um, as far as it doesn't have to have the whole bass chord so the very deep sounds aren't always hit together but if I was going to show you some chords I'd hit some of the white notes Let's go to the A minor. Remember, skip down one. I'm hitting up another octave. Another octave. So you'll see I'm hitting just the fifth here. Like if I was gonna hit the chord and I'm hitting some of the notes of that chord and then I go up a little bit to the next A. That's A, remember A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, it's even up there if you wanted to move up another one. So all I'm doing is playing around with these notes. So then we know F. I've shown you F, so. the key uh, the chord of F and G and a minor so get comfortable with the beauty of some of the other ones let's go up to a D minor and it is simply since you've learned the D we're gonna go down one step in the middle a half step in the middle and here we are it's just a D minor chord So if I'm going to play C, 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 all 
I'm doing is playing some of these notes that make up this D minor chord. So then there's another, we have talked about A minor. Um, let's go to F, G, C. Another chord that you can play and add in um, the C chord family, that is E minor. If we were gonna talk about a major chord, that would be the normal E that you would play in a different set of family of chords. But if you want to um, have some minors at your disposal, <laughs> here is an E minor. C, D, E minor, F, G, A, B, which is really just an inverted G, and there's B minor, C. So you can kind of work your way up. doesn't sound as good because really B minor includes a black note, but you actually can just make it like a G. Did you see I just did that inverted G? G, B, or B, D, G, or G, B, D. So the beauty of the key of C is that if you want to play around with it, praying um, and I'm having to just kind of play some music that's filler that's what I'm doing now you can do it in other keys but if you're a beginner or if you're wanting to ex uh, expand your ability to play beyond some of just the notes that are being read that's things you can do is figure out all these chords that go in their families I'm showing you C, so C, D minor, E minor, F major, and if you don't um, say the a descriptor, assume that it is major, so C, C major, D minor, you always would have to denote that it would be a minor, E would be E minor because we're not hitting the major, so E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B which is really G, C major. And if you learn to do these things, and if you've been practicing these, those things are becoming easier and easier. So all I really want you to do 
warm up maybe with some things. Do a little bit of inversions. Remember, inversions are just moving the notes around. So C, E, G, and then you'll do E, G, C, and then you'll do G, C, E. inside your own head maybe some that listen to me sometimes <laughs> pick me apart but most of you are so very appreciative and thank you for that G oh but Lee I can't do that I can't just play around on the keyboard sure you can just start playing by an A minor chords. Do it light. G. Hit your sustain. F. So that's kind of how I started just writing some different melodies because as you play, sometimes you'll maybe just hear some of your own words or you'll hear some of your own melodies and start to do that. Lord, I love you, yes I do. See, Lord, you're everything to me. F. A minor. Lord, I worship you. D minor. For every day I worship. That was G and now to C. You. So I'm trying to get you to realize that your soul can absolutely sing to the Lord, play to the Lord, worship him in your own way. Maybe it's not for every time you go to the church. Maybe it's not for every time that the dogs bark and you don't know what to do with them. But it is for the Lord to help us and bless us. And that's what we want out of this whole lesson. The truth is, is you're going to hear some dogs barking in these. They sit behind me, and if anybody comes in that front door, they're gonna make sure you know it. And so I live in a real home with real people and real dogs, and Sophie now is making sure that I am protected and she's safe too. She's under the piano. She sometimes sits here with me. So. Um, this big old German Shepherd also likes for me to protect her. And then the little baby likes to yappy bark sometimes. But I want you to start feeling that you can sit at a piano when you've had a really hard day. And you can start playing a C chord and move out to any of them. Remember A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You can move to any of those and skip every other note and just about have a chord that you can play and sing with. I think that's a miracle. I think that um, if you can't ever play anything else, but you can sit down and if your heart is breaking or your heart is burdened, just be able to say, Jesus, I love you. Oh, I need you today. I don't know where I'd be without you. How I could make it. You don't have to record it. You don't have to send it to me. It may just be your own private worship to the Lord. I do that when I feel brokenhearted. Sometimes I'll just sit down and I'll just let my fingers say what my heart feel. And that's what I feel like that the Lord wanted me to give you tonight. Um, an ability to know that the key of C, you can just about hit any note with a sustain, hit the same bass note and help it as far as help your chord strength and you'll be able to at least play something for your heart to feel put the sustain pedal and just try it if you want to send me something i'd be glad to listen glad to give you some pointers 
God bless you all. Let's pray. Lord, for all of those that are desperately wanting to learn how to play this piano, I ask you that you would anoint them. Anoint their hands, God. All of us may not be able to read music, and I know that some people may be critical of that, but Lord, all we want to do is worship you. And however that worship comes, for those of us who can't read, and those of us who are able to play a note, let that note and those notes ever after be glory unto your name. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.